Hey everyone, and welcome to my review for the game Thalara The Lost Artifacts. It plays two to four players, takes about a half an hour, and is for ages 12 and up. In the game Thalara, you are going to be selecting a sorcerer or a wizard of sorts. You'll be getting a separate set of cards that you'll be utilizing to play onto artifacts in hopes of gaining them. The game is pretty simple. You'll be slate placing cards face up onto the artifacts, and if you have enough points by the time you choose to stop or everybody runs out of cards, cards for the round, you'll gain those specific artifacts, put them in your hand and get victory points for them. At the end of the game, if you have the most victory points, you're the winner. We'll take it down below, I'll show you what comes in the game, how to play, and then we'll come up and discuss my review. Here is Thalara, the lost artifacts, and everything that comes in the game for this specific prototype. There may be more, depending on what the Kickstarter provides, link in the description to show you what that is. These down here are all the different characters you can play. There are four basic characters, and there are two characters that are unique and require a little bit more learning before you can play them. One specifically is this one here. She plays as like the dark shadow trap character, Melina, and she has her own specific rule set. There's another one as well. And then you have basic characters like this guy over here, uh, Garrett and the leader of the so on and so forth. And he's going to have the four cards and this is the reference card for each character. So reference card, which tells you all the different four attributes and four cards here. Each player will select one of these characters here and one of these four decks here. These four decks are the same and they come with colored cards that have a number on them. And you'll be utilizing these cards to gain artifacts. Artifacts are from this black deck here and based on the number of players is how many cards you're going to use here. So once everybody selects a character and selects a deck, then you're going to begin the setup. So I'll just go ahead and move these two aside. I'll take these two characters here. I'll fan them out so you can see their abilities as well as their card here. And then they're going to choose their deck. So this is going to kind of be what it looks like on the player board or on, on the board when you play. But you'll have characters or players on opposite sides, generally speaking. So then each character is going to have their deck and you will take away the other two. However, you can play three or even four players and they'll set the deck up based on the number of players. In this case, it'd probably be something like half and it has specific cards as to what those are. Flipping over artifacts just like this and then players are going to draw seven cards. So they each have seven cards in their hand and then they're going to play cards on these artifacts from the seven cards in their hand. They'll take turns going back and forth. And the way that works is pretty simple. The number represents the strength of the card. So in this case, if he plays a two on this one here, he plays a one on this one here. Then right now, this character is winning. And then if he drops a three, that's five. He drops a three, that's or a five, that's going to be six, which means that he's now winning. And you can choose to do it on any of the three artifacts. And after you've dumped all your cards out or you've chosen to stop, then you're going to count up the total cumulative points for each character on each set of cards and gain the artifacts if you have more. If there's a tie, then you don't get it. Additionally, on the specific artifacts is going to be victory conditions. One, two, and three victory conditions and that is going to determine who wins at the end of the game. Moreover, you're going to keep these artifacts in your hand as opposed to using these cards. So if you win one artifact on the next round, instead of having seven cards, you'll have six cards and one artifact, and that artifact will stay in your hand the entire game. The game ends when one player gets seven artifacts, and you'll count the total amount of artifacts in everybody's hand for the amount of victory points they have cumulatively, and whoever has the most points is the winner. And the other way is if nobody, somebody cannot draw up to seven cards from their deck. Once these cards are played, they're discarded forever. At the end of the round, you'll be drawing these cards here. If you have no cards left in your deck, that ends the game. The last little thing you need to know is the most important thing, in my opinion, and that is special abilities. And the way they work is based on the card color you play. So in this case, if this player played this card, you can also play one of these cards on the artifact. So red or blue card will work to play this. You can only play it once. And then blue, yellow, or green will play this card. These will change scoring and do different things. Some of them will destroy cards, others will give you bonuses, and others can destroy everything. They have a different range of things they can do, whether they be swapping cards and whatnot. Each character functions very uniquely and differently, but they're all very balanced. And that's the game Thalara. Let's come up and talk about it.
Although it was implied, I just want to let you know that colors don't matter as far as placing your cards from your hand onto artifacts and artifacts in your hand when utilizing their strength. Because all that matters is those colors will match your abilities and you'll be able to use those cards in order to activate your abilities. And most, if not all, abilities activate just once. There are unique characters in the game that function in unique ways, but in general, you're not going to get your abilities back until the next round. So in one round, you'll play all seven of your cards most likely, play it up to four of your abilities based on the cards that you've chosen in your hand and then you're going to take the cards from your deck and also one other little small thing is when you have your deck of cards you choose the cards that you start with every round the seven cards so you can say i want these specific cards in my hand to begin with and then you can choose these specific cards in your hand on the next round up to the point where you can't take seven cards in your hand or you have seven artifacts so one small mil minor detail there now let's review it so this game here is very simple this is kid friendly and family friendly game it's really easy to understand whoever has the most number of points in each of the different artifact spaces is going to be the winner a small thing to note however is when you're placing cards down on the specific artifacts you need to make sure that you have your own separate areas especially when playing four players otherwise the cards can get confused especially because the backs are so similar i don't know if you can, if you can tell that they are different on the camera or not but they're slightly different backs so it can be kind of challenging to figure that out artifacts however are black and they'll stay in your hand forever so those are pretty easy to tell the difference between but otherwise the cards that you play are definitely need to be in their own specific areas it's really easy to count the points you usually know who's winning each and every artifact throughout the game what twists the game up is the type of cards you choose in your starting hand as well as when you play your abilities it's kind of a battle of wits in a sense because you don't necessarily play your abilities first all the time some of the times you do because there's certain characters that give you a passive benefit or force your opponents to act and other times you simply want to wait until somebody has unloaded a ton in order to gain a specific thing in which case you can make them suffer with a card that destroys all cards in a specific artifact area and especially if you only have one card there it can hurt or be more of a detriment to other players other than yourself and choosing the characters is definitely different styles of play they all feel very very balanced though which is really nice about this game is every character feels balanced and it, it more comes down to how you choose to place and when you choose to place when you're playing a two-player game it really feels like this head-to-head -head tug of war in which the last the other player is just hoping to play chicken with the other player and attempts to make them play their cards first and then they can counter with their special abilities because you only have a limited number of abilities that you can use and so you have to kind of go back and forth with each other and say i'm gonna drop this one card here are you gonna do anything okay he didn't well now do I, I gotta play another card and to the point where when you only have four cards in your left in your in your hand left you may not be able to play all of your spells because your spells require certain colors in order to play them or maybe they do because of how you chose to build your hand but maybe your opponent thought that as well so there's a lot of this kind of mind over matter going on and then when you're playing four players there's definitely more craziness going on you have to pay, pay attention to more things but overall the game is very simple with a very large complex different array of gameplay and styles now i've heard that there's going to be more more artwork in the game and there's other characters in the game that's going to be listed but what i have here is great there's a ton of replayability the game feels like a lot of games i've played before in the sense that you're playing cards down to basically win tricks in, in, in a sort but it's very different based on the abilities you're using how you can choose your hand every single time up to the point where you have nothing left and artifact cards you win they can give you oh i don't know three victory points also have a zero strength on them so they detri they're a detriment to you at the end of the game so maybe you don't want to get something that gives you a lot of victory points at the beginning and you have to make those choices and they're hard choices overall i really enjoyed this game it's pretty quick and it's pretty simple but it has, does have a large amount of complex strategy it's a small box card game that can play up to four players it plays really quickly you can play it multiple times in a row or you can simply play it one and done and you will feel satisfied after playing some people may dislike this game because when you are playing cards obviously it does feel like a game of chicken in which case sometimes people are going to be like why did not you just play your card already so there's i guess that type of animosity that can happen but mainly that's probably your choice in players as opposed to the game's fault and of course certain characters you play you're probably going to dislike other than others you'll have to find your specific character you will enjoy playing because i found two or so that i did not like playing because they were more of a detriment to my opponent than a benefit to me and i like benefit to me characters which they have a nice array of different kind of characters in this game artwork is solid 
quality of the cards this is nice the backs of the cards are hard to tell the difference apart so i hopefully they they do arrange and change that a little bit to make it easier for me to see and others when you're putting the game back together or dealing the cards out the array of characters is wonderful and the fact that all the abilities function in unique ways but each of them have their own formation is great as well it's a great game i strongly recommend i definitely think you should take a look at it and if you like games like this card games that have a bit of a tableau management playing abilities and attacking each other look up the game the Lara. Thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you like this video, check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, a whole bunch of stuff, and a ton of new content that we have just remodeled the website. Also, check out the subscribe button. Push it right now. If you haven't pushed it by now, and the notification bell should do that so we can keep making more videos just like this one as long as our, as well as our live stream every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook on our Unfiltered Gamer channel. You'll enjoy that. We do it on Twitch as well. That's all I got for you this time, guys. If you're interested in the game, link in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Say bye, puppy. Bye.